Hello, my Cocoa Puffs. It's Coco Peru. And uh, let me turn my blinker off. That was bothering me. I've been wearing these um, Kiss stick-on nails for years now. I find them to be age-appropriate. A nice French tip. I haven't been able to find them. My CVS isn't hasn't been carrying them for a while. And it's just been driving me mad. I'm praying to God that they're not... Um, you know, discontinued, because that happened to me once before with the Lee Press on nails. They discontinued those because they reformulated them. They came back out. They were terrible. They didn't work. They didn't stick. And of course, you can't find them nowadays. So then I discovered these. And you know, what's really sad to me is I'm retiring in a few years. And uh, if these are discontinued, now I've got to come up with some other plan in this late stage of my life. You know, I, I don't have time for this shit, running around looking for alternatives. Just a classic, a French tip. That's all I need. Look at my CVS, it's just literally around the corner. That's the other thing. I used to go into the CVS and they always had a fabulous sale on these kiss nails. It was either, you buy, and I like a sale. I love myself a sale, you know that. But you buy two boxes, you get a third free. Or sometimes you buy one box, you, you get the second box half off. I'd walk in there, I'd reach from behind, hold the front, and just take the whole fucking thing right off the shelf, you know, off that, that thing, that thing, I don't know what you call that thing, but that thing, I'd lift them right off, right into my basket, I'd buy them off. Oh, sure. I'm gonna make a left here. Uh, there's the LA Fitness that I am a member of that I really rarely go to. There's a pet go. I don't have a pet, but I do go in there to, um, Wish the animals well. And there's the Vallarta. I love Vallarta. I like my neighborhood. You know? Anyway, we're gonna go look for Kiss on Nails at the CVS. All right, you ready, Michael? Let's do this. I'm on a quest. Oh, and by the way, you may, you may not have noticed, but I always get kicked out of stores, so I thought I'd wear something that, like, you know, like the animals will camouflage me. I love the yellow tag because that means there's sales going on. Here's the problem. They don't have my nails. Brown nails. Coco's not gonna wear brown nails. These are the ones with the glue. I, I can't put glue on my fingernails. I did that for years and I practically ripped out my own real nails. And here's something I don't understand. Who puts on toenails? Listen, if you're too lazy to go get a pedicure and have your toenails painted, don't be putting That's fake toenails on. Maybelline. Customer service in Maybelline? The, the, the jewels. I don't need all the jewels at, you know, my age. I need a French tip at my age. Maybe I need to take a risk and uh, take a, a jump, a leap of faith into a whole new world, you know? I'm gonna have to if I don't find my friggin' nails. Maybe I'll call the company today. I'll, I'll give them a call. We'll have a little a discussion. Crazy. Can you picture me wearing these darlings? I don't know. Ooh, these are pretty. Like gold, these are multi. Like, they, there's so much going on here. Like, I won't wear these, but my friend Carrie Preston would on that fabulous TV show, Claws. We did a movie together. She's a big star now. I'm not. I'm destroyed. I like that word, destroyed, because it says exactly what you are. Destroyed. You know, I like the CeraVe. I do like a good tub of CeraVe. You just dig in there and slip. There's one, though, it's a moisturizer. There's one that's like a Vaseline. I bought the Vaseline once. Don't do it. You need to buy the cream. A little tip from Coco Peru. Not a French tip, but a tip nonetheless. I'm looking at this pic, I just happened to walk by, and I just had a conversation with my mother, Helen, this morning on the phone. We were laughing about when, in the 70s, my mother went to a hairdresser and she came home with an afro. It was a thing back in the 70s where all my mother's girlfriends 
had their hair perms into an afro and they all had a pick. And my mother had an orange one and she used to pick a hair and like, literally walk around the house with an orange pick sticking out of her head. It was fabulous. But what, the story I love was that a girlfriend of hers, they, they, like I said, they all got the afro, went to the beauty parlor one day and as she was walking out with her afro, a black woman was walking out who had just had a hair straightened and they looked at each other and just started laughing. I just think that's beautiful. Did I mention I hate children? No respect. I love a travel section. And not necessarily even for traveling. I just like, it's like little minis. I love minis. You know, a little mini copper tone. A little mini Advil. Oh! Mini condoms. Well, not mini, but you know what I mean. There were just what, two in there for the person on the go. Yeah, what, like, oops, got lucky tonight. You're running, you don't need a, that big package of condoms. You come out with two. Uh, you know what I call this? A weekend getaway. This is not a long term vacation. What is this? Tag away. Oh, you know what that is? When you get the body tags, you, you take them away with the tag away. I just go to the dermatologist and say, cut this shit off of me, please. This is disgusting. You know what my dermatologist calls it? Barnacles. He tells me I have barnacles growing on me. Do you know how that makes me feel? A sonic pick. Just go to the fucking dentist. I go uh, every six months. I'm one of those freaks that actually likes going to the dentist. Doesn't bother me one bit. Oh, a micro touch solo. That sounds dirty. I bought one of these, uh, the hoses that uh, just like, you know, roll up. I, it was, I thought, what a fabulous idea. I, it wasn't this brand, by the way, but uh, not cheap. And my husband said, please don't buy those. I bought two of them, they both exploded. Now I'm back to the hose that, you know, kinks and dries me. And it's no kink, but it kinks, you know, story of my life. Love a Vicks vaporizer. When I was a child and sick, my mother would put in the vaporizer and then throw the Vicks in and the steam would come out with that eucalyptus smell. And I think I should just have one in my room all the time. Why, when you're only sick? I just think it's glorious. Vapor rub. You know what, Fix vape. I don't even buy the cheap one. I go right for the vapor rub. I mean the Vicks one. Because you know what? I don't fuck around when it comes to my vapors. Ooh, new must-have, starting at $9.99. You know what? I'd say if it started at $3.99, that's a must-have. At $9.99, it's a maybe. These bother me. Look, you, know, you roll it down. Do you know what this makes me think? Large families with lots of children at the beach annoying me. When I see people walking with these, I'm walking in the opposite direction. We used to have torches in my yard when I was growing up to keep the bugs away. I felt like I was in a, some tropical paradise. I was in the Bronx. My darlings, I can't stress to you how important sunscreen is. And you gotta get a good one, you know? I, 50 is what I need. But I grew up in the 70s. My mother used to say, darling, go outside, get your first burn of the summer. I used to use baby oil. I would lay on a picnic table that I covered in um, aluminum foil. <laughs> I mean, I would bake myself like a baked potato. And now I go to the dermatologist, you know, they look through that magnifying glass and it's just a horror show. I tell, don't even tell me, just burn it off. Barnacles. Two Andes mints for a dollar. 50 cents each. I'm telling you, I used to get those for free at an Italian restaurant. You know, you just take the whole. I got a CVS sunshade. <laughs> I love a bargain. I'm now on the way to go to, uh, where is it? Walgreens. I'm gonna try Walgreens. You know, I just got used to buying them at CVS. I'm hoping that maybe they'll have them at Walgreens. And um, what, we should, what's going on here? Here's my Starbucks that I like to go to and the kids often recognize me. Customers recognize me. And the rest that don't recognize me are 
deeply disturbed by my presence, which is just as satisfying on another level as being recognized. Like, I'm not turning. I just, I made it and I forgot to turn off my blanket. You're going to call me out for forgetting to turn off? You're one of those people. Yes. Oh, all right. This guy's looking at me like, what the hell's going on in that car? He's cute, though. See, Michael, if you weren't here, he'd probably throw me his phone number. They don't care. Men of, hi, sweetheart. Men of pigs. Pigs, I tell you. I was on the 405 once. All of a sudden, a, 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 a ball of paper lands in my lap. I open up, it's the guy's phone number. Hi, darling. He's waving. He's so sexy. Michael, I'm telling you, if you weren't here, I'd have his phone number. At my age, if a young, hot guy with a sexy beard wants to flirt with me, I'm all for it. And if he wants to take out that big, young, uncut cock and show it to me, I'm all for it. I'm going to Walgreens. Coco, children watch this. You know, children ruin everything. Uh, where are we now? We're on Laurel Canyon, aren't we? I forgot where I'm going. Oh, Walgreens. I get busy talking and then I don't know where I'm going. I walked into this Walgreens and you'll probably see it when we go in today. First thing I see, a big display of paper towels called Smile and Save. No, don't tell me what to do. See, if you want to make me smile, it should be called Save and Smile. Because when I save 50 cents on a roll of paper towels, you see, you know what I do then? I smile because I just save money. That's what makes me smile. A smile nowadays, it doesn't get you anything. It doesn't even get other people to look at you and go, oh, hello, no. Well, they look at you like you're crazy if you're walking around smiling. So don't tell me to smile and save. They should be called save and smile because it's the saving of your hard-earned cash that makes you smile. I'm lost. No, no, save and smile. Oh, look. Attention Tamer Tea Flask. They think of everything here at Walgreens. See, that makes me smile. Cheers. They're just saying cheers. They're not telling you to, you know, smile. I guess I'm a New Yorker. Don't tell me what to do. Little Mermaid um, thing. When you're hot on the beach, the Little Mermaid. I, you know, would it be too gay? It's a little too gay, isn't it? Organic ocho. Ocho means eight in uh, Spanish. My husband's from Spain. Thank you. So many options uh, under so much bad lighting. Oh, look, they do have the kiss, but I don't see anything that looks like my nails. Michael, I was getting very hopeful, you know, but uh, once again, I'm, I'm distraught. Look at this bullshit. I'm not wearing sky blue nails. No. No, 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 no. I gotta call that company. I'm calling Kiss USA. We're gonna go home now and call the company because I've gotta get to the bottom of this. The fact that my nails I've completely disappeared. When I'm so close to retirement, this is very upsetting that I have to change. I don't deal with change all that well. Now, I think change is necessary. But, you know, like when I tried to change my wig, you all went nuts. <laughs> now that I have to change my nails, it's making me nuts. I don't want to have to wear bright blue metallic nails or some, you know, fuchsia matte finished nails. Now. Give me my French tip. Let's see if they answer. They better not prompt me. That's three rings. Four. Oh, really? You can't take my call at the moment. <gasps> okay, then why aren't you open? 9, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and they're not answering. Hi, this is Coco Peru. I'm a low-end celebrity drag queen and I'm reaching out to you because it appears I've been to a few stores and the nails that I have worn for years, supporting your wonderful company, Kiss. Uh, they're called the Kiss Stick-On, and uh, they're the one, so uh, one minute manicure, which really, it takes me less than a minute. I've been doing it for so many years. It's the short length, and I can't find them anymore. Are you telling me these have been discontinued? 
If you could give me a call back, I'd really appreciate it. And if you could let me know what's going on with these nails. I only have a couple of more years to retire, so if, if you have discontinued them and you've got cases of them left over just laying around, you know where to send them. All right. Thank you. Her message is super important to Really? Then why aren't you there when you say, no. No, no one takes their job seriously anymore. You know, you know who does? Me. Me. I show up on time, I sweat my ass off, and uh, these people can't even answer a phone. And yet it's super important. That bothers me. This is why I take pills. I don't take a lot of pills, though. I need to return these paper towels back where they belong. And I am definitely not smiling. You know what, Th this is my smile today.